In today's show, a Bitcoin super cycle may emerge in 2021 as the Fed balance sheet hits record highs. That's right. Not only is the Bitcoin search volume surging, as you can see right here on your screen, but the Therma cap signal is producing a $110,000 Bitcoin price target. As Raphael Schultz Kraft points out from Glassnode, last bull market, Bitcoin was at $8,500 when market cap to Therma cap was at the current levels and surged another 135% to the top in just a month. Things can go fast. Yeah, this time's different, but just in case, 135% from here is $110,000. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. Also checking out the latest from Max Kaiser. He tweeted, their only weapon to fight Bitcoin is to keep printing fiat. This in turn means Bitcoin can only go up, which in turn will anger policymakers who will respond by printing more fiat. Bitcoin is beautiful. Touche. Also breaking news, BitPay integration brings crypto payments to Apple's Pay. 380 million users. I'll be breaking this down and how this may impact the Bitcoin price. Also in today's episode, Top Trader says he's stacking six altcoins, which I'll reveal for you right here in today's show, and predicts Bitcoin will approach a quarter million dollars. That's right, $250,000 by this July. That's right, we're talking about Crypto Calio, who charts it out right here, showing that we're still early, and he believes that Bitcoin is setting the stage for a meteoric ascent that could catapult the Bitcoin price to a quarter million dollars by July of 2021. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin correcting. We have Ethereum and a lot of the altcoins back in the green, some are in the red, but where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. And today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, BlockFi, the leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. You can get up to a $250 crypto bonus with a deposit of $25 or more. All you need to do is click the link below this video. In the description, it will take you here. Simply click that yellow button that says sign up and you'll notice that the referral code is already pre-populated for you to take advantage of this special bonus. Now check this out. They're currently paying out a 6% annual percentage yield on Bitcoin so you can start having your sats work for you. And on USDT, they're paying out 9.3%. Now, what I love personally about BlockFi, besides the fact they're so easy to use and that there's no hidden fees, is that they're backed by the biggest names in the industry, including Winklevoss Capital, Fidelity, Morgan Creek, and Coinbase. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right down below this video. Get up to a $250 crypto bonus with a deposit of $25 or more. And let's start stacking those sats shall we? All right. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. We have a lot to discuss, including a potential Bitcoin super cycle. So let's dive right in, shall we? Bitcoin is looking increasingly like it's in a super cycle, not just a bull cycle. Statistician Willie Wu suggests in a new Twitter exchange on February 12th, the popular analyst joined Dan Held, growth lead at the U.S. exchange Kraken, calling the current Bitcoin market a bull run like no other. Checking out the tweet right here. Willie Wu tweeted, retail has arrived the last four weeks. Welcome to to the middle phase of the bull market. This one is like no other. Dan Held responded, super cycle, in which Willy Woo responded, can answer that with more confidence in quarter four. Right now, it's only fundamental narrative. Need to see if the capital flows validated. The setup has me leaning towards it. And Dan Held responded, agreed. Strong foundation for one to happen. Touche. Now, Willie Wu had previously explained his theory about the state of Bitcoin in 2021, that price gains cannot be compared to the past bull phases and do not even match the end of 2017 when Bitcoin neared $20,000. Instead, this year is looking like a bull run on a wholly different magnitude. I agree. We refer to this as a super cycle. In his own observations, Wu confirmed that the data pointed to retail investors returning to Bitcoin in January. Now let's discuss the setup that has Willie Wu leaning towards a Bitcoin super cycle for First and foremost, we have search interest in Bitcoin spiking in the first portion of 2021, as you can see right here on your screen, but still has noticeably more ground to cover in order to match the peak of 2017. Next up, we have the Thermocap signal producing a $110,000 Bitcoin price target. That's right, with Bitcoin poised to tackle that 50K resistance next, longer term price indicators continue to point upwards, even after the heavy upside of the past few months. As Cointelegraph reported, Bitcoin's so-called Thermocap is one such metric suggests 
suggesting that the gains are only getting started and a top is still far off as Raphael Schultz Kraft points out from Glassnode. He wrote, last bull market, Bitcoin was at $8,500 when the market cap to Thermocap was at the current levels and surged another 135% to the top in just a month. Things can go fast. This time it's different, but just in case, 135% from here is $110,000 as you can see charted out right here. Now, another factor that makes this bull cycle different is check out this Fed balance sheet hitting all-time highs as well. Macro pointers likewise continue to provide the perfect backdrop for increased interest in Bitcoin across the board. Last week, the U.S. Federal Reserve added to its balance sheet to the extent that it broke all-time highs yet once again, checking out this tweet from Holger, he wrote, Fed balance sheet has hit a fresh all-time high of $7.44 trillion last week, equivalent to 34.7% of the U.S. GDP. Fed's balance sheet is smaller than the ECB's at 70.7% of GDP and much smaller than those of SNB and BOJ, where the total assets are greater than 100% of the GDP, as you can see right here on your screen. Now let's check out the latest wisdom from Max Kaiser. He tweeted, their only weapon to fight Bitcoin is to keep printing fiat. This in turn means that Bitcoin can only go up, which in turn will anger policymakers who will respond by printing more fiat. Bitcoin is beautiful. That's right. And he's referring to the $1,400 stimulus as that money printer continue to go brrr. And if you're not familiar with Max Kaiser, he does predict his $65,000 short-term target for Bitcoin is in play, as well as a $220,000 target for the end of the year. Now, before I break down our next story of the day, this is breaking news. BitPay integration brings crypto payments to Apple Pay's 380 million users, as well as a top trader stacking six altcoins, which I'll reveal which ones they are, as well as his Bitcoin price prediction of $250,000 by July of this year. But let's first take a quick look at the overall crypto market. Market. We can see Bitcoin correcting down about two and a half percent, trading just above 46. 1400 We have Ethereum down about a half a percent, trading just below $1,800. We have Polkadot up 3%, trading at $27.53. It just hit a new all-time high yesterday. And Chainlink also just recently hit a new all-time high, surpassing $30, and it's up over 4% for the day. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day, shall we? The string of major payment companies allowing crypto features continues as BitPay announced today that BitPay card users can now connect to Apple Wallet and pay for goods and services using Apple Apple Pay. We have thousands of BitPay wallet app customers using the BitPay card who are always looking for new places and ways to spend their crypto, said BitPay CEO Stefan Pear in a press release, adding Apple Pay and soon Google and Samsung Pay makes it easy and convenient to use BitPay card in more places from day to day items to luxury purchases. BitPay currently allows for payments in Bitcoin, Ether, Bitcoin Cash, and a variety of stable coins. This Apple Pay integration seems to be part of a wider strategy from BitPay to capitalize on the momentum of the ongoing crypto bull run. BitPay also filed with the OCC to become a national trust bank late last year. The Apple Pay press release noted that support for Google Pay and Samsung Pay is planned for later this quarter. More bullishness. Let's go BTC. The move is a significant one for crypto holders looking to spend their digital currency in the real world given Apple Pay's size and market saturation. A recent report says that Apple Pay is well on its way to accounting for 10% of all card transactions by 2025 compared to its current 5% share. BitPay's integration may also allow for additional utility for users of Apple Card, an initiative launched with Goldman Sachs to allow Apple Pay users to earn cash back on purchases. Apple Pay currently has over 380 million users worldwide. That's the key word right there is how many users they have, which can help drive the adoption of the king of all crypto. Now, this may also be just the first of many Apple-related crypto developments. Last week, Royal Bank of Canada Dominion Securities Analysts predicted that Apple might be the next company to allocate a portion of their cash reserves to Bitcoin, which I covered in a previous episode. Apple currently has nearly $200 billion in cash on hand, and pressure may be mounting for the company to follow Tesla's lead in purchasing cryptocurrency. I think it's only a matter of time and that it's inevitable now that Elon Musk has made the move, investing $1.5 billion into the king of all crypto. It's only right that Apple Amazon and the other juggernauts follow suit, just a matter of time. And before I break down our next story of the day, Top Trader says he's stacking six altcoins. I'm going to reveal these altcoins to you, as well as his prediction of a $250,000 Bitcoin price by July of this year. But let's first take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap, sitting at about $1.45 trillion 
dollars with about 200 billion in volume in the past 24 hours current bitcoin dominance sitting at 60.3 percent and checking out the current bitcoin market cap sitting at almost 900 billion which is virtually a new all-time high sitting at 878 billion to be exact now checking out the top gainers within the top 100 we have dash up almost 30 percent trading at 208 dollars near protocol up 26 percent trading at four dollars and 82 cents voyager token up 19 percent trading at three dollars and 80 six cents and Zillica up 19 percent trading at 13 cents and now checking out the top losers within the top 100 we have ample fourth down nine percent trading at a dollar 20 avalanche down seven percent trading at 47 bucks ocean protocol down seven percent trading at a dollar 16 and Terra down almost seven percent trading at five dollars and 63 cents now out of this list of the biggest gainers and losers which altcoins in particular are you most bullish on right now let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below as many of these altcoins are breaking out like a mofo now checking out one of my favorite favorite indicators is the crypto greed and fear index shows we're currently rated a 92 in extreme greed yesterday a 92 last week an 84 and last month an 83 all of which is within extreme greed and if you're not familiar with the crypto greed and fear index extreme fear can be a sign investors are too worried that can be a great buying opportunity aka btfd buy that freaking dip and when investors are getting too greedy that means the market is due for correction. All right, now let's break down our final story of the day, shall we? A prominent crypto trader and analyst is looking at three altcoins that he says has the potential to spark major rallies. The pseudonymous trader Crypto Calio says fellow traders are underestimating Litecoin. He believes the coin, often dubbed as digital silver, is poised to follow its 2017 bull rally and generate gains of over 1,000% from its current price of $203. Here's a quote from him. Litecoin 2017 fractal. If this plays out, there's still time to accumulate, but you see why it's worth it to slowly stack. Now is the time to stack Litecoin. Litecoin has vertical moves, usually from points of max pain versus Bitcoin. When it finally goes off, it'll move faster than you have time to FOMO into it. Buy a little each day. Thank yourself later. As you can see right here on your screen, how many of you are bullish on Bitcoin Silver, better known as Litecoin? Let me know in the comments right down below. Another coin on Calio's radar is Chainlink, referred to as the missing link of the blockchain. I'm also very bullish on Chainlink, as I always talk about here in the show. The trader believes that the decentralized Oracle network will follow the footsteps of Solana, which more than doubled its value in a span of a few weeks. Here are the charts back to back. You can see Link and Saul. Now, I also like to point out Chainlink just recently hit an all time high, surpassing 30 bucks, and we're just getting started in this bull run. How many of you are bullish on Chainlink? Let me know in the comments right down below. The third coin on Calio's list is Algorand, a project that aims to develop a blockchain that's scalable, secure, and decentralized. He says that the crypto asset is gearing up to pull off a 242% rally to six bucks from its current price of $1.75. Here's what he shares. Remember the big picture. Algo is only just getting warmed up. And before I continue revealing the rest of his altcoins as well as his $250,000 Bitcoin price prediction by July of this year, first, I wanna remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 700 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.com cryptonewsalerts.net or just click on the link in the show notes below the video. Also have a blog which I update daily which could be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day including weekends just like this you can also follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms from spotify the home of the joe rogan experience to apple's itunes you can also follow me on twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts my twitter handle is crypto news yes and for those of you active on facebook i do have a private crypto facebook group entitled crypto alchemy to join it click this link request to join i'll be sure to plug you in and for those of you active on telegram i do have a private crypto telegram chat which is uncensored to join it, click this link. You'll automatically be added, and I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. All right, now let's finish breaking down these altcoin picks from Crypto Calio. Calio is also invested in Stellar Lumens, known as XLM, Balancer, which is BAL, and Band Protocol, which is a competitor of Chainlink and Oracle Provider. Now, as for Bitcoin, the crypto strategist says it is not yet too late for investors to jump into the largest crypto asset. Touche. He says, Bitcoin, we're still early. And in this 
graph, he charts it to $250,000. Checking out his tweet right here so I can blow it up on the screen. Do you feel Bitcoin could potentially hit 250,000, which is a quarter million dollars by July of this year? Let me know in the comments right down below if you agree or disagree. Is he too bullish? Now, Max Kaiser's prediction is 220,000 by end of year, but could you imagine if we hit that by mid-year, the potential? What if there is a super cycle? What is possible, my friend? Anything is possible because Bitcoin does Bitcoin things. So that's right. Based on Calio's chart, which I just shared with you, Bitcoin has taken a page out of its 2017 bull market where it consolidated below 2000 before surging to its previous all-time high of $20,000 back in December of 2017. This time, the trader believes that Bitcoin is setting the stage for a meteoric ascent that would catapult Bitcoin to $250,000 by July of 2021. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments right down below. And how would your life change if Bitcoin hit a quarter million by July of this year? Holla. Now for a quick recap, what I cover with you right here in today's show. Bitcoin super cycle may emerge in 2021 as Fed balance sheet hits new record high. As Holger points out right here, you can see the Fed balance sheet at an all-time high. And as Willie Wu shares, there could be a potential super cycle, which Dan Held also alludes to right here. And as Raphael Schultz Kraft points out from Glassnode, last bull market, Bitcoin was at 8,500 when the market cap, the thermocap, cap was at the current level and surged another 135% to the top in just a month. Things can go fast. Yeah, this time's different, but just in case, 135% from here is $110,000. I also shared the latest from Max Kaiser who tweeted, their only weapon to fight Bitcoin is to keep printing fiat. This in turn means Bitcoin can only go up, which in turn will anger policymakers who will respond by printing more fiat. Bitcoin is beautiful. Touche. Also in today's show, I shared breaking news. BitPay integration brings crypto payments to Apple's Pay 300 80 million users, which could greatly impact the price of Bitcoin when you have that many people worldwide plugging in. It is what it is. It's all about adoption at the end of the day. Also in today's show, I shared that top trader says he's stacking six altcoins, which I revealed all his picks for you and predicts that the Bitcoin price will approach a quarter million dollars by July of this year, which he charts out right here on this graph. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And real quick, before I go, I want to give a special shout out to our sponsor, BlockFi, the leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. Here's where you can put your crypto to work and get up to a $250 crypto bonus with a deposit of $25 or more by clicking the link below this video. In the description, it'll take you here. Simply click the yellow button, which says sign up. It'll redirect you here and you'll notice the referral code already pre-populated for you to take advantage of this special bonus. Also, like to point out that they're currently paying out 6% annual percentage yield on Bitcoin. So you can start having your sats work for you. And they're also paying out 9.3% APY on USDT. And what I love most about BlockFi is the fact they're backed by the biggest names in the industry, including Winklevoss, Fidelity, Morgan Creek, and Coinbase. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that link right down below and get up to a $250 crypto bonus with a deposit of $25 or more. And let's start stacking those sats, shall we? And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.